Spring is a welcome time for many reasons. Warmer weather, of course, birds are singing, flowers are blooming, and a feeling of starting fresh. Table Magazine's new Spring Edition is filled with inspiration for a spring awakening for everything new, and that includes new places to eat. Table's editor-in-chief, Victoria Bradley, is here with the chef owner behind a restaurant boom in his hometown. We want to welcome Victoria and Jeff Iovino of Cafe Io. It's a deli, bakery, and now a taco place all yeah. within one block of each other and the house he grew up in. Good morning. Thanks, thanks for having us. I am <laughs> so excited to have you here. And this has to be like a no brainer to feature him in your new. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Every time I see Jeff, he's doing something new <laughs> on Beverly Road. And he knows yeah. better because he grew up in Mount Lebanon. He knows better what Mount Lebanites need. So we were, um, we're, we're going to make some tostados this morning because not only is he doing the deli and the cafe and there's a bakery up there, but now there's going to be tacos on Beverly Road. Right. Well, so and you're really excited. You opened. Taco Diablo in a very small, you said it's a taco truck yes. without the wheels. Without the wheels, yes. <laughs> that was a fun way of just sort of trying to explain to everybody what we're, what we're doing. And uh, this is an old building and it just has some different uh, character to it. So we you know, just found use of for some, fun use for some different space. And so it was doing so well though that you said, okay, let's expand this. And you're in the process of reopening it in a bigger location. Correct, yeah, an opportunity arose for, uh, to relocate across the street. We're gonna have a full bar. We can uh, start having- That means margaritas yes. for me and you. Yes. That's lovely, and, right? And <laughs> who, everyone needs a margarita now and yeah. again, so. Yeah. So I love how Victoria <laughs> is assembling one of your dishes and, and this is what? Which one is this? So this is a scallop ceviche that we have, um, and uh, we make this. Uh, we're gonna have different ceviches on the on the menu. Um, this one is just a, like I said, scallops, and um, you know, ceviche is a is a lime juice processed of sort of marinating. Uh, we usually always say quotes cook. Yeah, you're cook not really with the. It, yeah. You're not really cooking it, but I mean, it, it, you need about Adding those flavors. Yeah. Correct. Yeah, and your that lime juice sort of helps the whole thing. Um, and what I love Take about tostados is it's sort Lovely. of like a taco pizza. Right. And you're almost That's eating pretty. a taco like as a big chip. So yes. Jeff, um, what, what were you telling me before we started? So you deep fry the chip. Correct. Like yeah. The tortillas. We, we, Put this in the, this we do, it, you know, I did this at the restaurant, so we do it in a commercial, a commercial yeah, fry. Yeah, that's good. You I'm, just, just I'm like trying that. to think of like a good way to eat this. <laughs> yes, we, we okay. gave you a challenge this morning yeah. for oh, sure. <laughs> let's grab the pork for this one. Certainly, certainly. So in addition to your newest venture, Taco Diablo, Yes. You also have two other restaurants on Beverly Road. So tell us about those two locations. Yeah, we have Cafe IO, which um, has been around for about 12 years now. Mm -hmm. um, we rebranded Cafe IO from Ivino's Cafe when we first opened. Mm -hmm. um, and then we um, and then we expanded just about a year ago uh, to IO Deli, which is more of a, uh, a grab and go, sort of a fast casual kind of concept. And um, Doing really well. It's uh, you know, we we stay busy. <laughs> so okay, so we have the pork, and then tell her about the cheese. Okay, that's a queso fresca. It's um, it's a cow's milk cheese. It's a really mm -hmm. light cheese. It's very popular with uh, you know, the Mexican cuisine. Uh, easier and easier to find these days. Uh, you know, as as all this stuff, as all the. Mexican food becomes is is definitely a little more available. A little more available. Definitely a little trendier now. Um, but who doesn't love? Yeah. You know. <laughs> well, Chef Jeff, people can read more about your story in Table Magazine, but I love what happened in 2006 when you opened yes. your first restaurant there on Beverly Road. Things slowly went downhill, not because your restaurant was not delicious, but it was White Table, recession hit. Oh, yeah. You had to transform what you were offering to people, and you did that successfully. People changed the way they went out to eat. Right. Yeah. Let's make another one. Yeah, that's, 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 <laughs> that's exactly it. I'm this for breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's exactly it. I mean, people didn't stop going out to eat. They just changed the way they did it. So, right. um, so in order to survive, you had to adapt. Yeah, yeah. Because Jeff and grew up in Mount Lebanon, he really knows what people, not only in Pittsburgh, but what people in Mount Lebanon want to eat. So it was really, I mean, we've been friends for a long time. You told uh -huh. me about, you know, just changing over to not the white tablecloth restaurant. Let's open a cafe deli situation. Sure. And, and it, it's was, so it, good. Was, it was a great move. Uh, you know, we, we didn't we were, didn't work. You know, as much, but got to do got to do more, and you know, we're still a chef-driven concept. You right. know, so everything's still fresh, and you know, as local as we can be. Um, is always the way I like to say it. And how um, close are you from your childhood home? Well, my my 
parents still live down the street. Uh, <laughs> Do they? Yeah, <laughs> I can park there if it's real crowded, you know, and just walk up. And it is really crowded usually. <laughs> so let's talk about what's happening on Beverly Road. So you you have Cafe IO, then you have IO Deli, is that right? Correct. Yeah. And then you have the the taco truck. Yeah. Uh, restaurant, yeah. Cafe, uh, taco Diablo. When yeah. You, so a long time friend of mine, Cara Leo, she opened a pastry sh uh, pastry shop there. It's so like a bakery. Custom cakes too. and cupcakes, yeah. and then so she does uh, desserts for us at the cafe and uh, like you know uh, muffins and scones for the deli mm -hmm. and then she still uh, has a little like the little retail front for herself for so herself yeah. and she's also from Mount Lebanon she grew up uh, across the street from from my where my parents still live today so you know we the, see the, all these restaurant booms in Pittsburgh. <laughs> right you know Lawrenceville's always exploding we're seeing Braddock starting to creep up yep Jeff's holding it down in Mount Lebanon he's yeah. got it going on yeah you, you're kind of yeah. owning the block there <laughs> <laughs> when, when I got here this yes. morning I was like so why tacos he's like hey, Wait, everybody loves tacos. Everybody, everybody loves, everybody tacos. loves yeah. tacos, right? Um, as far as Taco Diablo goes, when do you guys reopen? Soon. Um, you know, we just keep uh, coming into some challenges here and there, but uh, yeah, we're not taking no for an answer, and it's yeah. gonna, this thing's going to get open. And you say Facebook <laughs> is the way to get your news yes, on that one, right? Yes, yes. Uh, the data, the data is, you know, the, these details, you know, they, they come into place. But yeah. uh, <laughs> okay, we follow them on Facebook. We get all the news. Right. Yeah. Okay, we're carefully watching then. Thank Definitely, you so much. <laughs> and you can read more about Cafe IO, the deli and bakery, and the soon to reopen in a new location, Taco Diablo. You'll want to stay tuned for more information on that opening. And there's more as well on Jeff's story in the spring issue of Table Magazine online and on newsstands now.